my god, what? Hey everyone, as the title states, this video is all about how certain characters are able to get easier kills using true combos. So far, i found this to work with the following characters. It's very possible that someone watching this video might find a way to make this work with other characters too, so no matter who your main is, I encourage you to watch it. Now keep in mind, this is a tutorial for intermediate players and up. You need to have a good understanding of movement, spacing, and timing. You also need to be able to consistently short hop. Alright, let's get started. To put it simply, I'll be teaching you how these characters can cancel certain aerial attacks into the ground and then immediately kill. Like so. Once you land the first hit, your opponent can't air dodge out of the second one. This is called a kill confirm. You throw out a low risk, low knockback move that can combo into a kill move. If your first attack whiffs or gets blocked, it's much harder for your opponent to punish that move than if you threw out a random forest smash. I'll start with Link. Even if you aren't a Link main, pay attention to this part. He's a great example for the technique, so I'm using him to explain it. There are two types of kill confirms that I'm going to show. True combos and what I call almost true combos. True combos can't be escaped. Once the first hit lands, the opponent can't air dodge, jump, attack, or counter to get out of it. Almost true combos are combos that can't be escaped with a neutral air dodge. You must jump, directional air dodge, or counter with very precise timing. Just pressing the air dodge button by itself will still cause you to get hit. Almost true combos are still very valuable, because in Smash 4, you could use neutral air dodges to escape most situations. A lot of players coming from Smash 4 will still just mash air dodge out of habit when they're being attacked, so these combos will hit them. Alright, let's get to it. This entire technique is based around using multi-hit aerials. In this game, multi-hit aerials have been revamped so that they connect better. The first hit of the move is designed to have reduced knockback but increased hit stun. This makes it more likely that the second hit will also land. Our goal here is to only land that first hit, and then land immediately so that the rest of the move is cancelled. In this game, landing lag has been greatly reduced across the board. Because of that, when you do this properly, you will land, recover, and be able to attack while your opponent is still in hit stun. Now, when you're writing down combos, the way that you notate this is by adding a 1 to the end of the move. It signifies that you're only intending to land the first hit of that attack. So for example, the first hit of your forward air will be forward air 1. Okay, now here's the fun part. When we land a back air 1 with Link, which moves are we able to land before the opponent can dodge? Link's back air 1 can safely connect to his up tilt, up B, forward smash, and up smash, all which can kill him. Back air 1 to up tilt and up B are both true combos. They can't be escaped in any way. These moves both start to kill around 130. However, Link can kill as early as 75 to 80% with his forward smash. Back air 1 to forward smash is an almost true combo. If your opponent is simply mashing a neutral air dodge, they'll still get hit. The only way for your opponent to escape this is for them to do a jump, counter, or directional air dodge. Timing on this is very strict. If your opponent chooses to jump or air dodge up, Link's up smash will still catch them. If your opponent chooses to air dodge away from you, you can shoot them with a the projectile. If your opponent chooses to air dodge towards you, it'll cause them to go through your body and out the other side. If you just plan for this and do a forward smash in the opposite direction, you'll still hit them. Keep in mind, if you do this technique while your opponent is near the edge, they're more likely to air dodge towards you because air dodging away from you would cause them to go off the stage and be in a bad position. No, this last one only works near the edge, but Link can combo back air 1 into down air for a spike. It requires strict positioning and timing, but can lead to kills as early as 45%. All the previous combos also work with young Link, and since he has slightly faster frame data, they are all true combos. His up B isn't a kill move, and his down air doesn't spike, but he can get guaranteed kills starting at around 80% with back air 1 to forward smash. Overall, Link and young Link's back air 1 is a great tool with a wide variety of applications. It can even be used to start combos such as these. In this video, I'm focusing on kill confirms, so I'll make another video showing some combo ideas. For now, let's move on to the next character, Captain Falcon. In Smash Ultimate, learning this tech is essential for a Falcon main. The wide range of his neutral air makes it easy to land, and it troop combos into just about anything. This is how it normally looks, with two hits. This is how it looks when you land neutral air 1. The best uses for this are nair 1 to knee, and nair 1 to up B. Near the edge at certain percents, you can combo into forward B and down air for an early kill. If you're interested in more falcon combos, a great player to watch is Fatality. He uses nair 1 combos frequently. Next up are the swordsmen. With Marth, Lucina, Roy, and Krom, neutral air is the move we'll be using to perform these kill confirms. 
This is how it looks normally, and this is how it looks when you land neutral air one. Marth and Lucina can connect neutral air one into F smash and up B, which is a true combo. No defensive option can escape it. Marth can also combo Nair 1 into down air and spike. Roy can connect his Nair 1 into forward smash and up B as well, but since his frame data is slightly slower, these are almost true combos that can be escaped with a directional air dodge or jump. However, Roy can kill with his forward tilt and up tilt, and these are true combos. Roy can also true combo into the air. Similar to Roy, Krom's neutral air 1 can combo into forward smash, which is an almost true combo. However, Krom has one trick up his sleeve. His neutral air 1 connects perfectly to his up B, creating a true suicide combo near the edge. Palutena is another character who greatly benefits from this. This is how her neutral air looks normally. This is neutral air 1. If done correctly, this can almost true combo into forward smash. Her forward smash is very powerful, killing as early as 75% near the edge. If your opponent tries to mash neutral air dodge against this, you can get an easy early kill. Palutena can also combo Nair 1 into down air near the ledge. Now for Meta Knight. His forward air 1 and back air 1 can both be used for this trick. They have a lot of hit stun, but also a lot of knockback, so the only thing that I was able to consistently combo into this is his up B. Depending on percentage, you may have to quickly dash forward before using the up B. However, this is a true combo that starts killing around 120%. You can try to follow up Meta Knight's back air 1 or forward air 1 with his down B. Unfortunately, this is not a true or even almost true combo. If your opponent reacts in time, they can escape it with any defensive option. If you're confident that your opponent won't react, this can be a stylish way to take a stock. Next up is Donkey Kong. None of Donkey Kong's standard aerials work for this trick, but his aerial down B does. Aerial down B1 can connect to up tilt for a true combo. This kill starting around 130%. I briefly experimented with aerial down B to down tilt trip to DK punch, but couldn't get into work consistently. However, I think it's worth looking into. Rob can use this tech with his up air 1 to land a guaranteed forward smash. One thing worth noting is that your opponent gets knocked behind you when landing up air 1. Prepare for this in advance and aim the forward smash in the other direction. If you do it right, this is a true combo. Snake can utilize Nair 1s to land his up tilt and forward tilt, which are kill moves. These are almost true combos, but this is still valuable because Snake has so many options. If your opponent tries to jump, up tilt will hit them. If they air dodge away, you can punish with projectiles. If they air dodge toward you, you can forward smash. Snake's neutral air in general is a great move, and it kills. Kirby can utilize this trick surprisingly well. Kirby's forward air normally looks like this. This is forward air 1. Kirby's forward air 1 to forward smash is a true combo that kills starting around 80%. Kirby's forward air 1 can also be used to do combos such as this. I'll go more into that in a separate video. Here's a fun fact. Samus had Kirby can do a true combo with forward air 1 to charge me. There are probably plenty of other moves Kirby can connect with different hats, but this is all that I had time to test for now. Now for Pit and Dark Pit. Here's Pit's forward air. And this is forward air 1. This almost true combos into his forward smash and his tilts. Tilts can be used for combo starters. Forward smash can be used to kill. If the opponent does a directional air dodge toward you, turn around forward smash. Last but not least, Zero Suit Samus. This is Zero Suit Samus's forward air. And this is forward air 1. Forward air 1 can true combo into down B, but it requires precise timing and spacing. It also requires your opponent to be at a certain percent. But wait, there's more. Right around the time I was finishing this video, something crazy hit the internet. Hungrybox discovered on stream that Jigglypuff's Dare 1 can true combo into rest. It seems like the secret to this is that Jigglypuff must approach the opponent backwards and use a reverse Dare 1. It also doesn't have to exactly be Dare 1, the first few hits seem to work as long as you don't finish the move. Seeing that combo reminded me of something I experimented with previously. If landed correctly, the first hit of Wario's Dare seems to connect to his down B, Wario Wapped, which kills around 60% when fully charged. It also connects to up B. I didn't get a chance to fully test this yet, so I don't know if the opponent can escape. Similar to Jigglypuff, this one is a bit flexible. You can land the first couple of hits and it'll still work as long as you don't finish the move. Wario's down air is also a kill move starting around 150%, so even if you mess up and land the whole thing, it can still work out. Well, that's all for now guys. If you liked this video, I would encourage you to subscribe. I have a ton of new ideas and a lot of videos that I'm going to be releasing soon.